Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do your general reading, beloveds. I will that each and every one of you beautiful souls are having a wonderful day. You're feeling grounded, balanced, and in alignment. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I wanted to go ahead and take a little peeky peek, see what's coming in, what's going out, what's going on with your energy. Welcome to each and every one of you that may be new. My name is Q and I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background. And the way that it works is the name of the song, name of the artist, lyrics within the song, maybe even the timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing. And it all just kind of blends very beautifully if I do say so myself. If you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is love is love is love appreciate you all appreciate all of the love all of the comments I just appreciate y'all so much um, my readings are timeless so whenever you have uh, found this video whenever this video has found you whenever it popped up in your feed well that was divine timing and in divine order that it has done so my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones if the reading doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to pick it up, carry it, take it with you. If it doesn't belong to you, it's not yours. Um, see what's going on in your placements within your natal chart. So see what's going on in your your moon sign, your rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus. Uh, just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you, beloveds. So let's go ahead and delve into the reading. Proceed with the read. Before we do, I would like to do some house cleaning. So... I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, 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 beloveds. All right. So let's see what's going on. It's 817 on the clock. And that breaks down. Can you see it? That breaks down to 16, which breaks down to 7. So I'm hearing forward. I'm hearing forward movement. I'm hearing upward and onward. So that's powerful. Um, that seven is also the chariot. So that's about assertiveness. You're finding yourself in balance, harmony, you know, in equilibrium at this point in time. Look what's there. Seven. And we just saw eight, eight, um, um, 17, which is 16, which breaks down to seven. So this is forward movement, all right, because you have been growing personally. You've been maturing. You've been going through some sort of, um, some sort of rebirth. You've been going through some sort of transformation, beloveds. Um, there's been a change of perspective, a change of mind. You've gained a deeper, more profound understanding of the self. Um, I feel like you received divine interventions, downloads, transmissions, affirmation, information. A lot of you all are very sensitive to energy. You could be very intuitive, psychic, scryers, seers. You could be clair clairaudient, clairsentient, all the clairs. Um, but there's definitely a very... Um, there's like amplified. Your, your, your psyche is very amplified. Um, and we have 63 on the bottom of the deck. So some of you all have a very strong spiritual connection with your own children. Um, some of you all may have lost, uh, um, you know, uh, your 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 parent, your your um, your umi, your, your baba, your mother, your father. Um, and they could be communicating with you perhaps in the spirit realm. I definitely feel like they you're receiving some sort of intervention. Um, some sort of guidance, some sort of nudge from spirit. Um, there's definitely uh, a sense that some of you all have grown uh, from your experiences. Maybe you all have experienced some sort of uh, childhood trauma, life, you know, past life trauma, maybe, um, you know, just, just some sort of trauma in your life and you've grown from that um, because the 63 is showing like you all have like really uh, changed. There's been a change that 
63 reduces to nine. Nine is the highest number in vibration of change. And I just feel like a lot of you take you took the time um, to heal, to forgive, perhaps a parent. Uh, maybe you went through abandonment. Maybe you went through abuse, physical, mental, emotional, um, even verbal abuse. You know, but I feel like you have grown. Uh, we have Cambada, and this is called Ground God's Day. So I do feel like there was a sense of you all like really um, gaining, you know, that deeper uh, understanding of yourself. So now you know that self uh, when you know that self that is, you know, you've reached that level of self mastery um, because you've gone through that process, that process of like healing that self. And when you heal that self, you learn to love that self. Love is an inside job. So I do feel like you've taken, you know, perhaps that elevator, you know, from the base, the basement, the base chakra all the way up to, you know, that seventh you know, seventh floor. So this is like levels. This is elevation. There's degrees, you know, so you, you've definitely leveled up and that's why personal growth is here. So that's powerful. Thank you spirit for that. So Sagittarius, you guys are on it. So ground God's day. So you are really receiving, receiving downloads. You could be having like some lucid dreams at this time. My nose is itching like crazy. So that means uh, it's going to be a very powerful message. We're going to get a sermon tonight. Uh, men Ra. <laughs> Let's tap in spirit. Let's see what's coming and going on, going on for my beautiful Sagittarius. May I have a message of love and a message of life for my beautiful Sagittarius spirit. Thank you, spirit. I feel good with that shuffle. And we get a message of love and life for my beautiful Sagittarius. No, that's not what we want to do. Thank you. All right. And so we have India I replaying uh, that magic. So some of you all, uh, you just got that it factor is what I heard first and foremost in my mind's eye. Some of you all could be from India. You could, um, that could be like your, um, your native land. You could be from India. I'm hearing India or West Indian is what I'm hearing. But I feel like you all got that it factor. Maybe you all are very um, powerful master manifestors. Maybe that's something you all are learning. We got uh, on the bottom of the deck, we have the change number five. So we definitely have gone through some sort of, um, there's levels I'm hearing with this. So you've gone through some sort of change. You've gone through some sort of tutelage, studentship. You've been learning. This has been a message that has been coming out a lot about all signs. Like a lot of you all that watch these videos, you have been doing the work. Um, that five is associated with the Hierophant. The Hierophant always speaks to seeking, you know, that wise counsel, you know, seeking higher learning. So you could have had your head in books. Um, you could have been researching. You could be, you know, going through school. You could be sitting at the feet of an elder. You could be taking some online classes. You could be going into um, certain um you could be learning through certain forums. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe you're taking some classes to learn uh, Reiki healing. Maybe you're taking some classes to learn, um, you know, self-help techniques. Uh, you know, uh, maybe sound therapy. But there's this like elevation, elevated. Maybe you're coming into uh, knowledge of what your divine purpose, path, and mission is in this reality. Um, I definitely just feel a sense of accountability, uh, honing your skills, gifts, and talents, mastering your craft, sharp in your sword uh, we have in the bottom of the deck 48 number 12 that's three so there's been a lot of reflecting on your finances your future maybe you know your legacy what type of legacy you wish to build um, the person that you're attracting this could be the mindset that they're in just kind of thinking about their future thinking about building an alliance thinking about building some sort of partnership maybe someone is uh, has a business that they could be um, you know really um, um, developing right now Maybe you are uh, working towards some sort of business endeavors uh, and you're just really like getting your finances together, investing in the right um, products or doing your research in that way, your due diligence in that way. With India, I read that magic. I also feel like someone uh, could really be feeling um, some sort of connection. Maybe you all are, as I said, manifesting at this time, uh, working towards certain goals, financial goals, or maybe working towards some sort of partnerships, maybe a business partnership maybe getting a business loan of some sort. So let's tap in. This could be your energy of the person you're attracting, Sag. So Sagittarius, who's this person our beautiful Sagittarius are attracting to them? May I have a message of love and light spirit? Who is this person? Okay, so we got a couple of cards that are this way in the deck. 
And so whenever that happens, I take the cards and it looks like all of the cards you need. We got rebirth. And what did I say? That same number 16, seven. So this is about rebirth, major transformations. This person has gone through some sort of major transformation, but I also feel like something's transforming and shifting within you. Um, I'm almost feeling like you've been in like that incubation state and now you're like emerging, you're breaking free, breaking free like that Phoenix rising from the ashes and that seven personal growth is here. So this is beautiful. Those are the numbers that I was picking up because we saw that 16 in the beginning that um eight six uh what was it eight sixteen no it was eight seventeen and that's um sixteen which reduces to seven and so this seven and this seven is exactly what I was picking up rebirth and personal growth transformation growing evolving this is what you've done and that seven and seven reduces to 14 which reduces to what five so there's been some changes because you've been growing you've been maturing you've been learning you've been healing and this has led to ascension this has led to you know um, you know just like an elevated uh, perspective you know a more evolved perspective how the this person you're attracting feels about you is they feel like you are um, not only uh, someone who has gone through major change, but I also feel like, you know, they see you as someone that they could uh, co co uh, co-create with, you know, whether that be life, uh, making, maybe making babies, um, creating a family. Uh, but this also is someone that could potentially be the mother or the father to your children. This could be your mother, your father. I saw 1111 as well. So some of you all could have some sort of twin flame union. We got nine here and then we got seven and five. So that's 12 that breaks down to three. So maybe there was a sense of healing from your past pains and traumas through some sort of karmic relationship with a parent. Um, with this energy here, uh, I do feel like you have changed because of it. You've evolved because of it. There's been some sort of um, Ascension that has taken place within you because you've learned to heal yourself. That's nine is associated with the hermit. So you've taken the necessary time um, to go into, you know, that that space of of isolation to to heal thyself, to reflect, to to gain a a deeper understanding of yourself to do soul searching to um, reflect to introspect. Uh, we got Bonnie Taylor Tyler and it says total eclipse of the heart. So there was definitely some sort of uh, major pain, you know, major heartbreak, 12, 12 on the clock, 3, 3, that's 6. So this was something from the past that traumatized you. This could be past life traumas, uh, but there was definitely some from, something from the past that really hurt you. Um, and it required, you know, to heal. It required um, you to to um, heal at a soul level to address that pain. Uh, this is you, you know, really being more mindful to kind of take the time to to work on the self, to to reflect on uh, whatever you've experienced. Uh, time out. See that we got 37 here. What's hidden? Um, and then we also have the six love. So that's very powerful. So the six really deals with, you know, the lovers, uh, which could be just, you know, uh, speaking to uh, that that yin yang dynamic within the self. We all have that masculine, feminine, that yin yang uh, um, element to ourselves. Uh, and that's where you find balance is balancing those two um, energies. And so perhaps maybe some of you all were out of equilibrium because of maybe, you know, some traumatic experience, maybe abandonment, maybe some sort of abuse, trauma uh, that you've experienced in your childhood, in a past life, uh, this triggered change, this activated you to start making the necessary changes, especially with Bonnie Tyler, total eclipse of the heart. I just feel like there was, you know, a moment where you had to, um, you had to heal from those past pains, wounds, and traumas. And what's hidden is, you know, just taking that necessary time out, that pause um, to meditate, to get things straight, to reflect, to introspect, to take those internal self audits. Um, that time out has led to some sort of epiphany, some sort of new beginning, um, maybe even, you know, just some passion that has been kind of like, um, kind of erupting within the self to take action and move forward. Uh, maybe you have healed uh, from those past pains, wounds, and traumas. And now there's this this movement forward towards love because this 37 reduces to one. You know, tens are ending. So someone's coming out of that, that hermit mode uh, to go towards 
uh, perhaps, you know, some sort of love option. Maybe someone could be coming towards you uh, because the way that someone feels about you is the 63-9. So someone obviously sees changes uh, within you. Maybe you've made some positive changes, healing from, you know, your parental issues, you know, healing with issues from abandonment, healing with from issues, um, you know, where you needed to forgive your parents, forgive your mother, forgive your father. And, you know, you've taken the necessary time to do so. Uh, maybe someone was taking a pause before they came towards you uh, because they needed to know that, you know, you were work, you were done working on yourself. Maybe someone is learning, you know, by by watching you from a distance. Whatever this is, this is a return. This is like, you know, someone wanting to return, someone having some sort of epiphany of, you know, the, the significance of this connection, connection, which is love, you know, so that's beautiful. The bottom of the deck, we have rebirth. So there is an opportunity to either reconcile or heal or repair some sort of union, some sort of love ship. We have in the bottom of the deck, you are good enough. So maybe some of you all needed to just realize that about yourselves, that you are good enough. You're worthy. You are, you know, absolutely special you are lovable um you are enough you know just like the card says so this is beautiful so and someone is finally realizing that about you because maybe someone else is having some major epiphany and this is why they're wanting to come towards you you could have moved away you know because self-love makes you more attractive six is like also giving me like the six of swords where you could have moved away uh to create like a safe space a safe haven um to get out of a space where you you were being traumatized or used or um just abused perhaps even um, um, so we have here expect powerful change and you are good enough. So there is going to be some sort of powerful change. Uh, this could be someone coming toward you, uh, someone expressing or confessing something. Uh, maybe you're picking up on some subtle uh, messages intuitively, telepathically, or maybe even via the dream state. You could be getting messages, uh, visualizing um, you know, or someone could be um, visiting you, excuse me, uh, via the dream. But this is love. This is like a new opportunity here. So this is very interesting. Let's see what's coming in for my beautiful Sagittarius. I have a message of love and a message of life spirit. What's coming in for my beautiful Sagittarius? May we get a message of love and light and spirit? Thank you, spirit. bottom of the deck will clarify the change five so we have nothing will come of the situation so that's why you needed to make changes because you was headed nowhere fast and we have the moments what's your name so you had to remember who you were you know some of you all lost yourselves in a connection lost yourselves in a relationship and i feel like you know this was what you had to start doing was you had to start making the necessary changes like i said that hierophant is about you know it's about self mastery uh because you go into that that student you go into a space of studentship you know this is tutelage this is learning this is researching this is growing this is speaking to the elders the ancestors this is even you know connecting with maternal and paternal figures within your family speaking to a pastor a uh, master teacher uh but this is you know also realizing like you know that wherever this road was leading um it was heading nowhere fast and that's why you had to make a change perhaps a change in direction perhaps a change in focus maybe you had to change your self-talk uh five is also you know um associated with the throat chakra and with what's your name um maybe this is something someone literally was calling you someone else's name uh and this is why you finally said okay um i'm done with this situation someone could have slipped up call you roxanne shante called you jim and your name is john called you rebecca and your name is you know mary you know someone could have called you someone else's name and uh this was you know i'm hearing you know the um the straw that broke the camel's back with you was and, and it says void of course so i feel like um you definitely felt like someone was devoid of emotion um because this person definitely was treating you like they didn't even know you like they didn't even care so they could have been someone that wanted to win at all costs i'm getting like the five of swords you know how that person on the traditional tarot is holding the three swords which represents the three that pierced your heart the heartbreak the emotional loss and they're just sitting there with a, a smug on their face you know the smug look on their face so this could be why you decided to make the change change um there's also the five of wands i'm getting where there was just a lot of competition um someone could have had options and i feel like that's why what your name is here because maybe someone like i said had so many people that they were dealing with at the time juggling all these different people they could have literally like you know when you text them or call them they're like yo who's this you know or 
hello, who's this? You know, they didn't recognize your name. They, I mean, they didn't recognize your voice. They didn't know who you were. They didn't call you the right name. And so you could have severed the ties because you realize like, look, nothing's coming of this situation. I'm not going to sit here wasting my time. Um, with the moments, I think that that was like your moment of truth is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. So let's tap in. So we have uh, confidence is your key to success. So whoever you're attracting to you, someone has grown up you know, I feel like with personal growth, I feel like you are uh, perhaps attracting someone that just radiates confidence. Um, they radiate some sort of um, just confidence and poise. Um, you know, someone with 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 uh, morals, values, you know, someone you can really like, um, you know, someone you could I don't want to say look up to, but someone that could potentially inspire you. You know, it's always good to find someone uh, that's going to inspire you, you know, um, but this could also be speaking to what you could be attracting to you is just the personal growth that you've been. The changes you've been making is leading you to the personal growth. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person coming in and, and you just exuding um, and embodying or, um, you know, just just radiating that sense of confidence is what's going to help you attract whatever it is that you desire. You're going to you're more susceptible to attracting what you desire when you're vibrating at a higher frequency. And we have Norman Connors. You are my starship. So just to, like I said, you're more susceptible to attracting what you desire when you're at a higher frequency. And that seven uh, is the crown chakra. So it doesn't get any higher than, you know, you taking that, you know, that elevated from the basement, which is your base chakra, which is the root chakra all the way up to the seventh floor, which is the seventh chakra, the crown. So, yeah, this is someone sees you as, uh, you know, perhaps a star. Someone definitely may be at a distance, could be traveling towards you uh, with starship. You know, someone could be named Norman or Connors, first, middle or last. So they could have an N or a C. Um, someone could be from North Carolina, I'm getting as well. So let's tap in. So why is um, personal growth here for the person our beautiful Sagittarius are attracting or what they're attracting? So I'm only taking the cards that are in the upright. All of these are face downward, so we're not taking those. All right, thank you, Spirit. And we have on the bottom of the deck, the end of a tough cycle approaches. So you all are completing some sort of cycle, some karmic cycle. Something's coming full circle. So we have uh, balanced spirituality and practicality here. And we have um, the seven. So I'm trying to figure out if Spirit wants all these messages to clarify this one card for the person you're attracting. We got you are good enough. Okay, so nope, they're telling me to put it where it belongs. All right, and you are loved. You and your loved ones are safe. That's positive. Po I love this. This is beautiful. And it says expect powerful change. We just had Leo who had the same message. And we also have a time to give rather than receive. So this is beautiful. So first and foremost, with seven, personal growth. And it says balance, spirituality, and practicality. This is what needed. This is what was needed. Someone had to, to balance the two. Um, you can't take action. You can't move forward if you are out of equilibrium and if you are out of balance. You know, So someone had to balance the two. Um, maybe someone was all one thing too logical and not spiritual enough or too spiritual and not logical enough whatever the case may be i feel like someone has been finding um their way you know uh and maybe because they've been you know taking the time to heal taking the time to grow especially with this personal growth so they've been really working on themselves um finding balance really grounding themselves healing themselves uh could have been really even walking in faith trusting in the process calling on their angels their guides um and just really taking that necessary time to learn how to channel that energy, how to uh, co-create, you know, because this is really when spirit starts telling, you know, and I just saw 23, 23, and that's five, five, that's 10. So that was the change that someone had to make uh, that same person. Um, you know, 23, 23 is five, five. Whenever I see double numbers, that tells me that you and the person you're attracting are mirroring one another. So while you Whilst you were making a change, someone else was making a change. And with that balance, practicality, and spirituality, um, I feel someone was just too practical or too logical. Um, so they were out of equilibrium. They weren't spiritual or connected enough, um, grounded enough. You know, maybe they was too airy um, and not, you know, they needed to come on back down to reality. How they feel about you, uh, Sagittarius, we have the parenting and then we have you are good enough. So this person could be your parent, could be your mother. Maybe they, you know, there was favoritism in your family someone didn't see your worth and value they always you know kind of 
just drooled all over your younger sibling or your older sibling because maybe they were, you know, uh, who knows, whatever the reason people favor others, someone didn't see your value and somehow that affected you. You know, maybe early in life you always felt like you weren't good enough. Maybe you felt abandoned. Maybe you felt rejected by your own mother or your father, but you also could have experienced with the mother or father to your child abandonment because someone treated you like you weren't good enough. You may have started to believe this about yourself. You suffered from, you know, insecurity, um, you know, because of the way someone treated you because they did not, uh, you know, see your value or your worth. Um, they didn't appreciate you and what you brought to the table. And I feel strongly like you learned um, to love yourself. That was part of the change uh, by you going and doing that necessary work on yourself. I feel like you started to realize um, that you are good enough. And when you love yourself, you become more attractive. And I feel like when you love yourself, you also attract what you are. So whoever this person that was out of balance, um, they're now in balance because they too have been growing. You know, this is personal growth. So this was a personal um a personal endeavor for someone like they knew they needed to make changes uh, and so they've been doing so and as they've been looking to you it's like they now see you as someone that is absolutely you know beautiful and divine um, we got Sade and this is called nothing can come between us and this is 1988 and so this is the number eight. So someone definitely feels like you are a wish fulfillment. Uh, that eight is giving me like the star. You are someone that can fulfill their dreams, wishes, emotionally, mentally, you know, maybe even financially. They can see themselves building a legacy uh, because now they realize that you are good enough. You are that star. You know, you have star quality. Um, so this person could be watching you from a distance. This could be also someone that has been praying for you or you could have been praying for another person person we have 37 time out and you are loved uh you and your loved ones are safe so with this time out that you've taken that pause that necessary pause what's hidden it's like this person or you you both are in a very sacred union or connection i feel and i feel like spirit is saying that this connection is definitely sacred um it is preordained it is written in the stars uh we just had Norman Carner saying, you are my starship. So I do feel like this is destined. It is a destiny type of love ship. I also feel you could be dealing with someone that could potentially be a can, a cancer, a Virgo, a Pisces. Um, but someone that was once devoid of emotions is now realizing, um, you know, just how important you are because they don't want anything to come between you and them. Uh, and last but not least uh for the person you know the outcome we got love remember that and then we have expect powerful change and a time to give rather than receive so someone is coming back around a changed person this is someone who has made the necessary changes because in the past they were selfish 27 27 that also reduces to nine which i explained nine reduced nine is the highest number of change so that same person that was in hermit mode they're going to take action because they want to really solidify this connection they really realize that this time around they need to give they need to be more giving they need to definitely like reciprocate the love that you had been showing because now they realize that you are good enough and this is going to bring about a beautiful and powerful change my beautiful beautiful Sagittarius so let's tap in this is going to be the last messages I'm gonna clarify these and then we're going to wrap it up ah shit so we have on the bottom of the deck message that same card also showed up in the Leo reading. So there's going to be a message, some form of communication. Someone is finally going to swallow their pride because they could be, you know, suffering from heartache and loss and, you know, just kind of agonizing, uh, being absent of you. You know, this absence is like killing them or this lack of communication. You know, they didn't realize that they cared as much as they do. You know, bottom of the deck, we have bad health so someone is absolutely suffering from heartache because that 13 or that 31 part of me reduces to four four is associated with the heart chakra so i feel like someone is really agonizing suffering emotional loss um and that's why there was a change that was necessary i feel that's also the reason why um you know someone uh was hurt because you know they they they, they maybe invested a lot 
you know maybe there was someone who was again distracted by other options and they could have forgotten your name someone was heartbroken uh because the realization of like nothing coming of this situation after investing so much um was just kind of like traumatizing someone could have been in a whole marriage maybe someone is receiving karma for their deeds you know because this says um courthouse someone could have been dissolving a marriage or someone could have been going through some sort of legal issues maybe karma dharma kind of hit someone you know after they did you dirty they could have got bit by you know that karma you know they got a could have got you know that that boomerang of karma you know i'm talking about like mama my aunt has everyone's address so someone suffered the same type of pain they could have divvied out to you we got um mambo gozan and this is tito puente so some of you all could be of Hispanic descent, Spanish descent, like from Dominican Republic, Puerto Rican, Colombian, um, you know what I'm saying, from Brazil. Uh, some of you may speak um, Portuguese, I'm hearing. But with Mambo, I, Mambo is a snake. So I do feel like someone could have snaked another person. Um, the Black Mamba is a snake I'm getting. Um, I heard Mambo, Mamba, Black Mamba, when I heard Mambo. So I don't know what Mambo is. I'm not, you know... I'm not a, you know, me no speak no, no, no Spanish, not English, but Spanish. <laughs> I love my Puerto Ricans. I'm a Bronx native. So, you know, that's Puerto Rico. That's like little Puerto Rico, little Dominican Republic. But um, I digress. So we have this, you know, this bad health. So someone did suffer some sort of karma. I'm getting a sense of because I was hearing black mamba and that's a snake. That's a powerful snake. Um, very poisonous snake, if I'm not mistaken. So some Someone definitely got bit they could have got sick they could have got caught up in some sort of like love um incubus succubus type type of karmic connection and oh man they went through the motions with that person um but now it's like they're recovering i'm hearing because they've been growing you know they've been learning like you know you can't trust a fat butt or a big butt in the smile like you know like bdp uh what was that uh, not bdp but like um Bell Biv DeVoe, BBD, said, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like someone could have got, like I said, you know, kind of distracted, sidetracked, you know, chasing tail and they got caught up, you know, somebody got caught up. Somebody could have also caught like, you know, some sort of STDs, you know, they went through the motions, beloved. Um, but let's tap in. So we got the sweetest thing playing uh, by my girl Lauren Hill from the Love Jones soundtrack so the person you're attracting they feel like you are the sweetest thing I feel like the sweetest thing that could have happened to this person was them getting you know kind of like um, humbled uh, you know they, they got humbled I feel like spirit you know kind of really sat someone down to to help heal them and if you look here you know, even though this person is like suffering, they suffering bad health. You know, I always, like I said, associate this 31 with the heart chakra. Uh, there is still someone there tending to them. So I feel like that nurse could be indicative of like, you know, maybe you, you, you still was sending love and light to this person. Maybe someone had like an ancestor, an angel watching over them. Because remember, we have you and your loved ones are safe. Um, so someone did have someone watching over them. And, and helping them along the way. Because, you know, they say God takes care of fools and babies. And this person was definitely foolish. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in. So why is seven personal growth, balance, spirituality, and practicality here for my beautiful Sagittarius? May have a message of love and a message of light. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we got distance horizon. This also showed up in the um, Leo reading. And we have this main female. So there's definitely a sense that someone has been growing and because it says main female I feel if you are feminine even if you're masculine you're the main person that has helped this person like you know rem like gets unstuck they were kind of stuck and stagnant you know and maybe watching you maybe you know watching you from a distance maybe learning with the sweetest thing maybe you used to do the sweetest things for this person and look who they were aligned with didn't I tell you there was a snake around this person and this was a karmic that number eight deals with karma karma dharma that's why their heart is broken because this snake this old this lying ass person that they had around them they was just looking for an opportunity to dupe them and they were stuck and i feel like as they continue to watch you grow they started to learn and see clearer like oh sag is the one sag is the one that got away and this main female here 
you taught them how to balance. You taught them how to find balance within the self. They could have been like chasing tail, chasing, you know, you know, not to say that you're not attractive if you're ma masculine or feminine, but they could have been going, you know, with, you know, oh, the IG model, the girl with all the, the, the people liking their videos or somebody with a big old fat behind and, 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 you know, just, just the, the exterior, they were going with the look, they were going for the ones that they liked and not going for the one that liked them. When you go after the ones that you like, they are going to put you through the motions. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not the only one that likes them. <laughs> you know, especially if you're just going off physical, you know, beauty and attraction. You're just going by the physicalities. Um, you're not the only one, beloved. And so the same way you sliding up in the DM, hollering and, and whining and dining, trust and believe there's about four or five other ones, you know, that are doing the same thing. So that could have been, you know, this person got caught up and got their heart broken. And then they start to reflecting back on the sweetest thing that they had, which was you whether you're masculine or feminine and now they're realizing like dang i gotta find some balance i gotta get right you know because they couldn't get right with this person you know they like can't get right in life can't get right <laughs> so distant um distant horizon so this person is you know finally kind of breaking free and if you look that's 36 remember this is 63 so these are the same cards but there's you know like reversed you know i mean the same number but it's reversed so there was something anchoring another person this is like being stuck and stagnant um and needing to take the time to assess the situation to find that balance um also learning to love that self as well um this is about reflection uh nines are the highest number of change that's the hermit and he's a wizard he knows to look within someone finds out that they've been anchored you know this is the, like anchorage this is you know emotional anchor this is spirit Spiritual, spiritually being anchored, uh, but there was someone that know, knew that they needed to come out of that mindset in order to uh, to be able to move forward. So I do feel like there is a sense of like you know someone perhaps you know coming towards you. Uh, there is distance, no doubt about it, because that ship shows that there's distance that speaks to travel that's necessary to see someone. So why is the sixty three parenting and this you are good enough here for this person that are. Uh, beautiful Sagittarius attracting to them feels about them. We have a message of love and a message of light spirit. And we have the Isley Brothers, make me say it again, girl. And we have Sudden Wealth. This also showed up in Leo's reading. And look what we have. We have main male, main female. These two cards also showed up in Leo's reading. Some of you all could be like on the cusp of Leo no, you can't be on the cusp of Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe you have Leo in your natal chart or something like that in one of your placements, maybe rising or maybe, um, you know, maybe your moon. Um, but this is the same combination, 222. 222 breaks down to seven. I mean, to six, pardon me. Six is like the lovers. Six is also like that person from your past. Uh, six is, you know, really someone that sees you as like a past life love. And we have make me say it again, girl. So someone is really like, you know, definitely wanting to say something to you, wanting to communicate. I feel like this person sees you as that person they are equally yoked with. Like this is really giving me like the two of cups vibes. They feel you are the one that got away. You know, main male, main female is a suit. This is like yin yang, yang yin, however you want to say it. And this is definitely someone that can see you as the mother or the father to their child. They can see themselves co creating with you, building, you know, that nucleus, that family, that legacy, that generation. Um, they can see happy house, happy spouse with you. With sudden wealth, I feel like your angels and your guides are absolutely bringing to you some sort of blessing. This is coming straight from source. This is happening suddenly, unexpectedly. Uh, and and I feel like it's because you did the necessary work. When you do the work, you get rewarded. So there's some sort of sudden wealth that is coming to you all. So why is this 37 time out and you and your loved ones are safe for my beautiful Sagittarius? For what's hidden, see how this card is proving, is choosing itself. So look what we have. So you took that, someone took that time out. And they were able, and look what we got on the bottom of the deck. It says chain, someone's moving away. So that's, that's very powerful. So someone is taking the time out. Because they 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 were able to see these snakes. Remember, we saw that 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 so I heard black mamba. So someone is um, absolutely seeing someone for who they truly are. That six is associated with the first eye. 
So someone is really, you know, seeing like, oh, dang, people I was trusting, they were snakes the whole time. This is that same person that was, you know, see that feminine energy. That was the same false person that was wearing a mask. So someone took the time out and they were able to see clearly. And so spirit is protecting this union. It says you and your loved ones are safe. So whoever this person loves, whether this is your energy, who is garnering this protection from the divine, it's like you, like I said, we're praying perhaps for this person, um, sending out prayers, love and light to this person. And you protected this person from being, you know, being duped, being played, being gaffled. You know, this is this is absolutely trickster energy. And that could have led to someone, you know, finalizing um, a magic marriage, dissolving um, a marriage, dissolving some sort of union. And we have this occupation here. So you could have met this person at your place of employment. I feel someone is definitely moving away. Someone is finally saying, I'm out. And this is the number nine, highest number of change. They could be at a distance. They could be returning to you. This is someone who's now more self-sufficient, independent, more well-rounded. They're loving themselves because I'm getting also like the nine of cups. Nine of cups is really about like being selfish, loving you, yourself, and you. And it's also 855 on the clock. So that's nine again. So that's like spirit confirming what I just said. So I feel like someone now loves themselves enough to know like I got to move away. They're changing localities, changing direction. Um, and it's all for... The sake of love, you know, this is someone that really um, is, is is even loving of themselves. Like I said, that that is like yin yang energy. So someone could just be finding that balance as spirit, um, you know, encourage and with a time to give rather than see, receive. I do feel like someone is going to be uh, very generous, you know, this time around. So let's tap in. Why is the six love a time to give rather than receive and expect powerful change here? For my beautiful Sagittarius for the outcome, and then we're gonna right out. Thank you, spirit. So we have false person. See, this person is still here in the mix. That's why someone was changing localities to get away from that heavy energy. And we got this family room. All these cards here. Good lord. Please don't hit the key. Thank you. So we have main male. So you got main male, main female. And then you got this official person. So somebody's coming back official. But I also feel like someone was dealing with someone that was really, really, really um, putting them through the motions. But this main male, this uh, 21 family room. We have great fortune, gift, courthouse. Some of you all are going to get married. Someone is proposing to you. Someone's coming in to commit. This is also someone that is looking at you as destiny type thing. This is, they look at you as a miracle. Some of you all have some unexpected money, some funds, some sort of, some sort of blessing that's coming in because you got eight, eight. And remember when we started the reading, it was eight, eight, you know, it's still, it reduced to 16 and that's seven. So this is something that I feel like, you know, your hard work is paying off. I'm getting like the seven of um, pentacles where the seeds that you've sowed in good faith all of your hard work, it's paying off. And I feel like someone is coming in with courthouse. I feel like this is someone that now will come into you and propose. You know, someone will now ask you for your marriage, for your hand in marriage. Um, someone could just come in simply with a gift, you know, to, to you know, a gift of um, an apology of some sort. But with expect powerful changes, these are some powerful cards. Uh, and this family room is also an indication that um, you will be cohabitating with this person. This person's moving closer to you is what I'm getting. Um, and I feel like they're leaving someone behind that they discovered was a snake all along. Someone that could have been a karmic. Um, but they're moving away from that energy. And, you know, they're working very hard, very focused. You know, putting forth that work, that effort. This could have been someone they met at their job. You know, this could be someone looking for a new job in a new location so as to get away from that energy. But I feel like there is definitely some some fugazi energy here. Uh, look at that. It's like you could choose between this energy or that. Who are you going to choose? I think your person absolutely knows who they want and they want you because this six is the same energy here for love. So the outcome is you are going to have someone that has matured because they have been growing. They've been finding balance. They've been doing their work and it's leading to this. This also showed up in the uh, Leo um, reading. 
So courtship, this is someone coming in being very charming, uh, very chivalrous, very caring, very loving, also loyal this time around, being more willing to give than to receive. So they will make the effort. This is someone said, saying, make me say it again. And I'm hearing that line from that movie. It's an old Tyler Perry movie, uh, Diary of a Mad Black Man or Woman or something like that. And um, she was like, just ask or just say it say it again like she was basically telling him to ask her to marry her again because she had ran off being foolish going back instead of going forward and so that was just reminding me of that scene say it just you know just say it just ask so I feel like that's what someone is like maybe you know you all were working towards that like I said you put so much time and energy and then someone was acting all like see now like they forgot what y'all was doing four 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 on the clock this is a sacred union this is a special union your angels are definitely conspiring behind the scene bringing you to an alignment and as you can see here you and your loved ones are safe so this is confirmation from spirit Sagittarius and we have back to life um, however do you want me playing by soul to soul and that's a soulmate that's a twin flame that's the yin to your yang this person is coming back to life back to reality and they're coming back in the way that you wanted them all along balanced spiritual mature honest communicative loyal faithful trustworthy emotionally intelligent attentive affectionate whatever it is that you want they're willing to do because this time around they're going to be more giving. This is your reading, beautiful Leos. Thank you so much for tuning in, tapping in. If this is your first time here, welcome. I will that the reading resonated if you found that it did. If you feel that my energy vibe with yours, the way that I read, uh, definitely hit the like button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. Um, and also subscribe if you feel so inclined. If you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Till next time, peace, love, and light. Ah,